Hello everybody, welcome to Phantom on a Budget Halloween Season 2011. It's been a couple years, but I'm back in makeup and costume, ready to bring to you a more condensed version of the stage makeup tutorial. I know the other one's a little bit lengthy, so here you go. Uh, it's going to be a, a nice, hopefully, easy demonstration, time-lapse so you can see how the, uh, the demonstration process is done, as well as subtitles for tips and hints and everything. And again, as I stated before in other videos, this technique with the latex and the cotton really can be used for a wide variety of various makeups. It doesn't have to be Phantom of the Opera. So if you're looking for a good, easy, relatively cheap way of making yourself into a monster or a corpse or something for Halloween, definitely uh, take a look at this, see if it can work for you, and go for it. And what did I come up with today? Well, there you go. Uh, not bad for two years off, really. Uh, I'll take it. So please watch the video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know in the comment section below, or email me. My email is phantom at phantomonabudget.com. And as always, there are full tutorials of all the family opera makeups that I do. And those are on my website, www.phantomonabudget.com. Alright, thank you. Okay, so once you have everything done as far as the latex goes on, uh, the cheek and lips or wherever you want to put it around the eye or whatever, um, I, I use a prosthetic for the forehead deformity, and I have pictures on my website about how I made it. Basically, took a styrofoam head, uh, made a, a prosthetic out of that with clay, made a negative mold, and that way I can pretty much just take straight up latex and uh, put it into the mold, let it set for a couple hours, and then I get a prosthetic. Um, that's applied using Prosade, and you put that on your forehead, uh, you put it around the edges of the uh, prosthetic, put it on there where you want it, and then to blend it um, a little bit better into the skin, what you do is you take Prosade and you dab it around the, the edges of the prosthetic, and then you powder it, and that actually makes a much uh, a nicer blend into your skin. And even if the, uh, the latex doesn't come out necessarily the way that you want it, um, you can use that to your advantage because when you go through and color and add the highlights and the shadows, work with what you have and you'd actually be surprised if you highlight and shadow correctly with the, um, the grooves and everything that kind of happens, um, you might be pleasantly surprised.
just kind of going through right now and throwing in the um, darkest shadow I have on the deeper areas of this deformity. What I'm going to go do is eventually blend them in a little bit and have some lighter shades as well. So that is the application of the wig. Pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, just put it on front to back, get the hairline where you want it, get it sitting correctly, and then uh, go through and just put a little itty bit of spirit gun to, uh, to set it. And that's all you need. And that's kind of the last use I have for spirit gun. I don't use it as an adhesive anymore for aesthetics or anything like that. Uh, it's fine for short-term prosthetics, maybe some of the cheaper stuff. Of course, I say that and, you know, get my budget a lot about cheap, but basically, if you really want something to stay on, definitely use ProSave. And no, I'm not getting paid by them to say that, but it's true. Uh, it's definitely better adhesive out there, so that's my advice. Here you go, here's a look at it. Trying to get away from doing the same old, same old, as far as the same design every single time. Really this time we're just about putting it on my face, moving it around a little bit, and uh, going in afterward, filling in the shadows and the highlights based on what I had to work with. And actually I think I came up with a much better result than I have in the past. So I'm pretty happy with it. And again, if have any comments about how to apply this makeup or how to use this makeup technique for a different type of character, please let me know. Phantomonabudget.com Email me, phantom at phantomonabudget.com Comment on the YouTube page, whatever. Um, I do check all of them fairly regularly. Uh, life kind of takes me away every now and then, um, but I try to make sure to catch up. So, I want to thank you all for your comments and your emails that keep on coming. And I hope to see some great results for Halloween this year. And I'm really looking forward to the season myself, and I hope you guys have a great and safe Halloween season. Thank you.